Hello everyone and welcome back to your second stimulus check and stimulus package update for today, August 26th. We have made it through another day together and I hope you're having a very blessed Wednesday. In this video, we'll go over some crucial unemployment benefits information and I will also cover what the Congress is doing those days to ensure that we have another stimulus package and a second stimulus check. Oh, and by the way, the IRS is sending an additional 50,000 stimulus checks. As always, my name is Dion, and if you have already subscribed to my channel, welcome back and thank you very much. Make sure to like this video because that helps with the YouTube algorithm so more people like you can see it. And if you're not a subscriber, well, we have 10,000 people in the Finance Kit community, so please consider subscribing for daily stimulus updates and other personal finance tips in the future. I mean, after all, one of our community members said it exactly right. I subscribe to at least seven other stimulus channels similar to this. And I gotta say, you are my favorite. Thank you for the upfront no BS info. So hit the subscribe button if you want no BS upfront information. As millions of Americans are concerned about the unemployment benefits and those extra $300 payments that are proving to be life-saving for some, I would like to let you know that we now have 32 approved states that will be providing the extra $300 unemployment benefits. They were approved with an executive order from the president. So here are the 32 states we have approved from FEMA so far. Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Georgia, Idaho, Indiana, Iowa, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, New Hampshire, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, Oklahoma, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Vermont, and Washington. Keep in mind that the different states will provide benefits starting at various different times. We know that Arizona and Texas have started distributing the payments already, but some other states will start in September and some all the way in October. Why? Well, that is solely based on a decision made in your state. But there are a couple of crucial things that I would like to point out to you about the $300 unemployment payments. First thing is, how long would a $300 benefit be paid out for? Well, FEMA only guarantees those payments for three weeks for the approved states. After that, any additional funding will be made on a weekly basis to ensure enough funds are available for other states that apply for the grant assistance. And this is the case because Trump's executive order allocated up to $44 billion of existing funding from the Disaster Relief Fund to be used for supplemental unemployment benefits. Once those money are used, unless Congress passes another stimulus package, the extra $300 will be discontinued. And if that's not worrying enough, here is the kicker. The second thing you need to remember is that all unemployment compensation is taxable income. Yes, guidance from the Department of Labor that was released on August 17th explicitly states that the lost wages assistance or the extra $300 unemployment benefit is subject to a federal income tax. Now, I really don't wanna dive into the taxation portion because it is a complicated topic and it will be different for every individual but you should be prepared for that when the tax season comes next year. So moving on, a very good news actually that was released by the IRS yesterday afternoon. 
and that is that they will be mailing around 50,000 catch-up stimulus checks. I mean, we know the IRS screwed up with quite a lot of checks in the last few months, so I was not surprised to hear that they actually wrongfully withheld stimulus checks from over 50,000 people. So here's what happened. In the rush to send out stimulus payments, the IRS improperly withheld payments from about 50,000 people. For those individuals, the IRS offset their stimulus check for past due child support owed by their spouse. It didn't matter if you filed a required form 8379 injured spouse allocation or not, IRS simply withheld the payments. Good news is that they finally identified their mistake, which means people that filed the 8379 form with their 2019 taxes will receive their stimulus checks. The IRS also stated that it will issue the payments in early to mid-September. The payments will be physical checks and it will be mailed to those who filed Form 8379 with their 2019 tax returns or in some cases 2018 tax returns. According to the IRS, you don't need to take any action in order to receive your stimulus check. But do you remember what I always say? Pick up the phone and call the IRS if you have any doubts whatsoever about not receiving your first stimulus check. Let me know down in the comments if the IRS has done a mistake with your stimulus payments and if you're still waiting on your first stimulus check. I will do my best to give you a direction on how you can resolve that issue. I honestly can't believe that the IRS is still distributing the first stimulus checks. I completely understand that it is a very complicated process to issue checks for hundreds of millions of people. But five months? I mean, come on. Anyhow, the fact is there is plenty of evidence that the IRS needs to get ready to distribute a second stimulus check. And hopefully a lot faster this time. It has been a few days since we last heard some credible details about the next stimulus package bill. I wonder if McConnell is still sitting by the phone waiting for Pelosi to call him back. I doubt it. He is probably enjoying his vacation. I mean, we have the skinny bill that is still in the works, but that is not something many people are excited about. Actually, that skinny bill sounds like a side project that didn't take much time or effort to put together. The thing is, I'm starting to believe that Congress is looking at some alternate reality or seeing the world from a different perception. Because if Republicans and Democrats debate a second stimulus package based on facts, we should have seen it pass by now. What are the facts? Well, in my opinion, the pandemic is nowhere near over. On the contrary, specialists believe that we are headed for a third wave of increasing COVID-19 cases later this year. At the same time, unemployment insurance has expired along with a bunch of other provisions. Businesses, states, and the American people need more financial help as jobs are scarce which ultimately has left the economy up in the air. And from up in the air, the next stage is freefall, in my opinion. And what is Congress doing during all this? Let me put it simply for you. Congress is doing absolutely nothing. Our representatives, lawmakers, politicians, whatever you want to call them, are not doing much but focusing on the election. At the same time, airlines and other industries are threatening mass layoffs and we're talking about tens of thousands of people losing their jobs they're not doing anything while we're headed towards a double dip recession yes 
Nearly two-thirds of economists surveyed by the National Association for Business Economics said that the U.S. hasn't escaped the recession yet. And to top it all off, our lawmakers are not doing anything while the American people are showing their concerns. One of the best signs to determine how people are feeling about the economy is to look at whether or not they're confident in spending their money. The Consumer Confidence Index, which is a survey measured by the conference board to determine how consumers feel about the economy, is at its lowest level in six years. By the way, this was all part of the wait and see game our Congress wanted to play. They wanted to see how the already approved $3.4 trillion from the CARES Act will boost the economy before they approve more funding. Well, I will ask you, how do you think the economy is doing? How did the CARES Act passed five months ago have boosted your confidence? Are you feeling better off now? Drop a comment down below and I truly hope Congress looks at the facts and pulls the trigger on the next stimulus package because if they don't, this will be a very long and agonizing economic recovery for many Americans. We know Congress has already agreed on a second stimulus check. We know McConnell is waiting on Pelosi. Pelosi is waiting on the White House. The president is busy with his re-election and he's waiting on Congress. So we have a complete circle of lawmakers waiting on each other while we the people are waiting on them to make a move and approve the next stimulus package and the second stimulus check. Please like, share, and comment. And I appreciate you watching this video. I hope you're staying safe. Please hit the like button. And as you know, I will give you all the updates as soon as physically possible with working around the clock for you. As soon as we know more, you will see it right here on the Finance Kit channel. I want to say thank you if you have already subscribed to my channel. If not, make sure to hit the subscribe button and that bell notification because I will bring you all the updates as they happen. I hope this video was informative and provided some value to you. Like and share so more people can see it. And don't forget, down in the description, you will find some other helpful links and helpful videos. Thank you for pushing your financial mindset toward the better reality. Until next time, stay positive, master your finances, and take a good care of yourself and those around you.